Students, this question was asked in NEET 2003 from the chapter Oscillations. A particle of mass M oscillates with simple harmonic motion between points X1 and X2. The equilibrium position being O. Its potential energy is plotted. It will be how much? Okay, student. Uh, student, what is the formula? What is the relationship between potential energy V and force F? Student, you know F is equal to minus dV by dx. Okay, student. If the body is exiting motion along the x-axis, so we may write minus dV is equal to F dx or dV is equal to minus F dx. Or v is equal to integration of dv is equal to minus integration of f dx. And what is force student? Force is equal to minus kx, you know, and where k is the uh, force constant. So this can be written as minus of minus kx integration with respect to dx. So student, this becomes minus minus becomes plus, and this force constant is a constant, so it is taken outside, and we write this is f dx, or we may write this as kx square by 2 or half kx square students this is the formula for the potential energy of a body ok student so suppose this is a simple bundle of student it is uh, moving uh, along this uh, this is the angular displacement and this, this these are the extreme positions and this is adjusting uh, simple harmonic motion in this way student so at these points, the at these extreme points, what will be x to them? x will be equal to a the amplitude, the maximum displacement from the mean position. This this displacement is called student. This is a the maximum amplitude a minus a. So in both the cases, the square will be the maximum and the potential energy will be students maximum in the uh, two extreme positions. Okay, student. And what about the potential energy here? Here x is equal to zero, student. So v will be equal to obviously x square will be zero. V will be equal to zero at this mean position. So, student, you see this plotting, this graph has this at O, it is zero, the potential energy, and at x one and x two, this is extremum and increasing in this way. So student, the plot A is correct, that is the uh, plotting of half kx square student. So option A is correct for this question.